Fucking Chicago drivers. Now I'm gonna drive very cautiously because yesterday, guys, I was in the highway and some bitch decided to fucking hit me in my back bumper. And literally, like, this was in the middle of the highway and it wasn't even fucking raining or anything like that. She was just fucking high as fuck. So I got off my car. I was like, this motherfucker fucking hit my bumper. I was like expecting the worst, even though she scratched my bumper and kind of dented a bit. It's not a big deal, but it's her fucking action that fucking pissed me off. She was like, what did I do? What did I do? Where did I hit you? Where did I hit you? I'm like, bitch. I'm like, back off. I'm like, stay the fuck away from me. She was all in my fucking face. And I was like, oh, hell to the fucking no. I was like, you get in my face one more time. We're going to fucking have issues, bitch. I was like, I need your driver's license. I need your insurance. And I call fucking 911. When I called 911, fucking state trooper was like, oh, well, it's going to take us two hours to get to the scene. And bitch, two fucking hours to get to the scene. This is the reason why, like, a lot of the fucking Chicago drivers don't give a fuck how they drive. Because cops and fucking state troopers literally suck. Like, I don't know. They're not fucking doing their job, obviously. And it pisses me off. Because as soon as I told that bitch, I need your driver's license, I need your insurance, she was like, let me go and get it in my car. Because bitch was high as fuck, okay? She could barely open her fucking motherfucking eyes. And she was like, let me go get it in my car. Hops in her motherfucking car. Literally reverses and fucking drives off in the middle of the fucking highway. I'm like, bitch, I'm not going to chase you down. I'm like, I already got your license plate. I went to the police station. I filed a police report. I eventually got her fucking address and the name of the person who the fucking card is registered to. That wasn't a big fucking deal. That literally took me like a few hours to get that information. But bitch doesn't have no insurance, no driver's license, and high as fuck. Tell me, how the fuck are you going to be driving in the city? Like, do you really love yourself? Do you really fucking care about your fucking motherfucking livelihood that you're fucking driving high as fuck with no driver's license, no fucking insurance? This fucking bitch has a decency to fucking hit and run. Anyway, I call my insurance. I had to do whatever I had to do. Now I have to take my car to get, um, I guess, evaluated or whatever, you know, appraised for all the fucking damages that that bitch did. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just a little fucking, like, bumper dent. But I am driving a Mercedes Benz. So just to fucking fix it, it's probably going to be more than a thousand fucking dollars. And that bitch was obviously driving a fucking piece of shit, you know. And don't get me started, guys. I don't give a fuck what you drive. You could fucking be fucking, like, in a bicycle. But if you fucking know how to fucking drive that bicycle, then we have no fucking issues. Obviously, this fucking bitch didn't even know how to fucking drive that fucking hit me. Anyway, guys, so that was my day yesterday. Had to fucking, like, deal with fucking police that were so fucking incompetent I was just ready to go off on them and it was just a hot motherfucking mess I'm just so fucking tired of stupid people tired of people that just don't give a fuck guys I'm literally in a corner in the mall eating my dinner which is basically veggies from Panda Express mm. So good, guys.
and they actually fill you up, which is nice. And I'm sorry, bitch, you are what you eat. If you eat a Big Mac, bitch, listen, you're never gonna lose weight. This is so good, guys. I really craved a freaking pretzel today, guys, because, listen, I lost weight. I could never shop at H&M, okay, because everything was either too small or just didn't look good. So today I spent literally like $200 just shopping uh, for items and stuff like that. I did buy some cute little um, outfits that I showed you guys, and I lost weight, so, you know... I've been taking care of myself, eating healthier, just watching what I'm eating, but don't get me wrong guys, from time to time like today, I eat my freaking pretzel. Mm. And it's so good. And it's okay. Anyway guys, I have to go back to H&M because um, I got overcharged, like 30 bucks because I did pick up a lot of things that were on clearance and unfortunately I didn't look or the guy that was ringing me out didn't look so I paid full price. But you know, I'll get my money back, no worries. Anyway, I'm just so happy that like I'm able to shop now. And, I'm kind of happy now that companies have cute little things. I mean, they're not going crazy. There's still a lot of shitty items out there. But listen, if I like something, I'm super picky. So I get super excited when I do my shopping because I'm like, oh my God, this is cute, this is cute, this is cute. Here, we gotta find some of the ads. And I just hate when like people don't mind their own business and they just stare. Yeah, bitch, I'm blogging. Yeah, I have a camera in front of me. Yeah, I'm eating impresso and talking to myself. Well, that's what they think. Anyway, this is so good, guys. Mm. Put my little jalapeno dip. It's a little spicy, but it's good. All right, I don't have much time, but I'm just going to eat really quick, guys, because I have a busy day ahead of me, and I actually ordered some vegan food right now. So we're going to eat. Guys, you know, lately, I've just been in a fucking funk that it's not even funny, guys. 
Mmm. I was craving this all day. Mmm. Carrot juice. So sweet, guys. Oh my god, it is so fucking good. Anyway, guys, so last time I vlogged, I went to the mall. And I did a little shopping. I was a little impressed with H&M because I did find an amazing deal. And amazing outfits, guys. And normally, I'm too fucking fat for H&M. I'm not gonna lie. But, um, I've just been losing weight. I've been, like, super, like, healthy eating. And really, like, watching what I fucking eat that i just been paying attention. So, I was so excited when literally everything fit. And that's never the case, guys. Especially, like... Stores like H&M. Anyway, so I did do a little shopping spree. And it was cute. I did buy a lot of cute little outfits that are so like business attire. But at the same time very like um, modern and very like preppy. So then right when the mall closed, going home guys. Turn on my car and it sounded like a fucking machine. It went like, bah, 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 bah. I'm like, what the fuck? So I was like, okay, well, um, my steering wheel kind of like froze. I couldn't move it. And I guess it was like a pressure band or something like that that popped out. So I tried to drive my car as close as I could to home. Which, to be honest with you, I don't think it was a good idea because I could have fucking, like, burned my engine and a lot could have happened to my car. Guys, I don't know shit about cars and whatever. I've learned, I guess. But, um, finally, like, parked my car at a freaking gas station and then call a tow truck to tow my car to my freaking mechanics. Okay, this mechanic guy was on fucking bullshit. So I call him up. I'm like, hey, listen, this is what's going on. He's like, bring me the car. You can park it outside the street and I can take a look at it in the morning. How the fuck? Like, I don't feel comfortable. First and foremost, parking my Mercedes Benz outside your house, especially when you live in the hood. Literally, like, the next day, my car either would have been gone. My tires would have been gone. Um, my car would have been stolen. So I said, you know what? Let me just park it in my driveway. I go pick you up. And then we try to turn on my car and take it to your shop and fix it. He's like, all right, fine. He's like, call me tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. So here I am waking up fucking early as fuck. And he doesn't pick up. Well, he actually picks up. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I'm on my way. Give me your address, blah, blah, blah. 9.30, nothing. 10.30, nothing. I'm like, this fucking bitch. Now he's not answering his phone. And I'm frustrated because I need my fucking car. I need a vehicle to, like, literally... Do whatever I gotta do. And I finally took it to another shop. They fixed my car within like two hours. Yeah, I did pay an arm and a leg. And yes, it was a Mercedes shop. But listen, they don't play. They don't fuck around. They tell you what it is. They fix it and they move on. And that's how fucking fast I want my car to be fixed. It's 2022. I'm not going to be dealing with no bullshit. I'm not going to be dealing with no fucking, like, fake people. I'm not going to be dealing with no fucking games. I'm so fucking exhausted. I don't have time for all those motherfuckers. So, got my baby back. We're extremely happy. Mm. I got to show you guys what I'm eating. This is like... Let's see. It's like basically rice and beans and tofu and a little bit of soy um, vegan meat in there and just eggs. 
which is like vegan. I am starving today, guys. I need a tortilla. Anyway, so that was my fucking drama. And then I had an event to go to in the evening. Thank God I got my car back. <clears throat> oh my God. This carrot juice is so freaking good. So I've been so stressed out all this week, guys. And I've just been so busy that I didn't even have time to blog. And you guys know me. Like, if I got a lot of shit going on... Or if I'm not in the mood to blog, I'm not going to blog. I'm not going to waste anyone's time. Like, my blogs come out very organically, and that's just the way I am, you know? I've always been like that. And, you know, I apologize. You know, I apologize because I know that you guys are expecting a weekly blog. And sometimes I don't blog for like a month, but... I'm still blogging, guys, you know. I haven't forgotten about you. Why is this bitch staring at me? Like, you stop your fucking minivan just to see what the fuck I'm doing, and then you fucking leave? Get the fuck out of my face, bitch. Anyway, guys, let me eat this really quick, and I'll catch up with you guys when I get home. Good morning, guys. Here I am having breakfast and you guys haven't seen this little baby in a while Sane Sane say hi he's in his own and then Tiffany say hi girl and then Rose and then here we are having some coffee guys just kind of like enjoying hey guys I haven't shaved I literally haven't glam myself this is like my chill outfit and this is what we're doing today just kind of like chilling having fun and just spending time with family right. this one will go out to the nice weather absolutely that we're finally having after absolutely. oh so after 42 days of yeah. no sunlight that is wild oh yeah all right all right cheers cheers, oh, cheers. Cheers. Thank you for doing the podcast. Oh, We're so glad to have you. The myth, the man, the legend. Himself. That goes down pretty smooth. Oh, I love it. I was carried in my bag. Just, just carry, you just carry a bottle of tequila. I do, I'm like, fuck it. You never know when I'm going to need a shot of tequila. Okay? You never know. You never know. Yeah. Put this over here. Yeah, it can't be blocking Ooh. the money maker. Yeah. Mm. Just pull it, pull it out at work. You know, oh, yeah. pull it out at family functions. Traffic, exactly. yeah, traffic, yeah. Traffic, you just oh, gotta... traffic is the worst. You need something to take the edge off. You got it. You get. You need. You need Midori. This is an ad. That this this podcast is sponsored by Milagro. Milagro. Yeah. <laughs> Midori's the green. Oh, sweet. Oh, I love these Where's so much. Werther's original. Yeah. Oh, Lady Candy. Oh, I used to have these at my grandma's all the time. Oh. It's the ultimate old lady candy. Absolutely. <laughs> that, and then they had like the strawberry cream ones. Oh, oh yeah. I used to eat those all the time. Me too. I feel like I got sick off of one time. Oh no. And then I was like, I can't do this anymore. Mm. Oh yeah, I would eat that so many at once. They're addicting. Right. They sure are. <laughs> it, it was so weird though. Like everybody always talks about that. It's like, what? Where do they get these candies from? Like Werther's for sure, but you know the one that's like a strawberry like wrapper? True. True. The one that is like it looks like a strawberry right. with the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I've never seen that for sale anywhere. Right. Mm -hmm. They just give them to old ladies. They just like bring so them to their house. Go, and here you like, go. Give this to your grandkids. It's like <laughs> angels. <laughs> mm. Like spirits come. Who do you want to adjust um, this a little bit? Yeah. You want it closer? Yeah. Since I can remember music has been Something that I've always wanted to do, I think, since I was like five, even younger. I've I've always like imagined myself like doing concerts and like singing and you know stuff like that. And you know, I 
it was kind of like an idea in the beginning, just doing it at parties, family parties and stuff like that. While everyone was drunk, having a good time, I was like doing my little show. So would you have like a mic? You'd be mic'd up? Yeah, and... absolutely. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. I have that little like old school mic that you will hook up to like a speaker and yeah. do a little karaoke and stuff and have my own little concert there. Most of the time people were not paying attention, but I was like, hey, okay, I like this, you know, and finally, you know, when I turned 18, um, kind of like as a birthday gift, I was like, all right, if I'm going to do this and if I'm going to take this seriously, might as well record a track. Mm -hmm. So um, I hit up a couple of DJs. I'm like, do you guys know a couple of producers, maybe in like so new to the scene that really knowing what direction to take wrote that song and released it online and back then you know like having a website was a big deal like when was know, this god i was like probably like 15 16 years ago if, yeah around that early 2000s early 2000s um so i was just like you know what let's release a song online mm. you know i was like no one's gonna take me serious no label's gonna take me serious it is like my first single let's just see how it goes so then i released it online and then um somehow the song got leaked well kind of leaked because um i had a scheduled day to release it mm. and i was sending the song to a couple of producers prior to that and then um, somehow the song got released prior to the date. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know what, it's okay, whatever. You know, I'm like, it's my first song, no biggie. Um, somehow uh, this producer uh, from VIP Zone in Poland, who I think they also had a record label at that time, um, heard the song and was like, hey, you know what? Um, I really like your song. Uh, let me release it. So they released Walk Away. Um, and it was it was a little it was a little hit. Um, after that, um, they wanted me to do more music. So I recorded my second track, Internet Baby. Nice. And we did Is that was that about you? Did you self portrait song? Kinda. <laughs> So then I, I started writing that song, released that song, and we decided to do like a remix contest of Internet Baby. We got over 5,000 remixes from different producers Damn. worldwide. Wow. Which was a big thing. And then from there I was like, you know what, let me just take this a little bit more seriously. Um, so then everything else is just, you know, history. I've, I've been making music ever since. Um, obviously on an independent level, mm -hmm. um, I did get a record deal back in the day, but it fell through. Mm -hmm. It fell through. It really wanted, um, to fuck me over, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, take advantage of all my music. Basically, um, I remember if I can remember the deal was, um, two albums were gonna be basically i was i wasn't gonna get any profits mm -hmm. third album i was gonna get like literally five percent if so wow you know i was like it's just not worth it you know so then that's why i continue doing music independently it's so much fun you know less stressful um obviously like my main goal is to make something that i love and something that people will love and just take it from there I think, honestly, for me, like, I've always come, like, in and out of it, you know, yeah. like, I've done jobs, like, I've done the whole hustle, convenience store, mm -hmm. supermarket, warehouse. Yeah. yeah. He's had, like, 80 jobs. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You name it. I've been there. Yeah. And I got the stories and stuff. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, like, with stuff like this, like, the stuff that we're doing right now, it's, like we're investing everything up front mm -hmm. so that we can go and reap the benefits like maybe even years and years later you know yeah, like even podcasting like you know it's like you you make the podcast and like it might not take off right away 
but people will go back and listen to old podcasts like like we just start we listened to your podcast Thank I you. guess like a year yeah. after it came yeah. out so it's it's sometimes sorry it's it takes like a second to get it going so like you build the podcast and there's no like initial benefit but down the road people are like oh like I got into your music and then I listened to your podcast and now I heard you have a show because you talked about it in your podcast and now I'm at the show that is so true that that's so true it's it's um crazy how new fans find you or people that appreciate your music and your art and it's so true what you say about podcasts you know mm-hmm. when I first initially um, recorded my podcast, uh, Ian from Untold Stories was like, hey, you need a little podcast, you should give it a shot. You know, I have a background in communications, radio, I I used to do radio professionally um, for a living. Mm. Was it iHeart? Well, it wasn't with iHeart back then. I did radio for a while, did television. I do. You should post those on your I, I like should. Instagram. Like here's like a me from back in the day. Oh my god, I would I would meet a lot of awesome people in the industry. This is why, like, finally at eighteen, I was like, you know what? Um, it's all about it's all about connections. It's all about who you know. I'm like, you know, I think it's time to kind of, you know, release a song. As soon as I want to film my Chihuahua dogs start barking. Anyway, they want to be on the blog live. I just got in from uh, recording this amazing podcast. We had shots. We had so much fun. It was amazing and it was so candid and so real. I love this feeling, guys. Um, It's going to be out very, very soon. I'll let you guys know. But meanwhile, I'm going to edit this video and um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. All right. So love you guys and see you in the next vlog. Bye. Sé que volverás cuando me pidas perdón